Hi, this is Jason with Dave's Computer Tips with another how-to video for you. This one's on how to sign PDF online for free. That's right, you can actually get a PDF signed for free online and not have to have a high price so software like having to get Adobe Pro, Acrobat Pro or something like that to do it. This is actually where you can go online. It's really simple and I'm going to show you how to do that in this video. So if you have a contract you have to sign, it's a PDF file or anything like that, that's PDF. I'm going to show you actually how you can sign it online for free. That's right. I said free. I've done a couple of um, videos on this and articles on how to sign PDFs. This is just another way to do it. I'll put the links down below on the other ones so you can check those out too. I showed how to do it on Adobe Acrobat um, Reader and I show you how to do it on the actual the Adobe software too. So, but this one is online for free. So let me show you how this works. But before we get going, hit the like on this video. It really helps out our channel. Also hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so you don't miss out on any new how to's we put out weekly. So, okay, let's get started on this. So the first thing we want to go to is a website. I love this website. It is called tools.pdf24.org. Now that's how you get it. It's the, called PDF tools is the website. But that's the um, address. If you look up top here, you can see it's tools.pdf24.org. And you can go here, and this is where you kind of you can do a lot of stuff with PDFs for free. So I'm going to show you how to sign one through this website. So what we want to do is you're going to look at the top row here. You're going to look all the way down here. You're going to see number five right here. It says sign PDF files. And I use this a lot for work, so this is really helpful. So click on that. And it's going to open this up. Now it's going to ask you for the full the 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 file the pdf file so what you're looking out here is you can choose one which will open up your uh, file explorer to check your computer you can even drag and drop in here which is really nice i like that feature and then there's you can add a file this way too which opens your file explorer so they gave you a couple of different ways to find to get into your computer to get your file so i'm just going to pull open this since i already have it open and i'm going to drag this down a little bit so we can see and i'm going to drag this and we're going to toss it in here and just drop it so I dragged and dropped it in here. Now it's loading it. And once it's done loading it, it's going to tell me that there we go. It's almost there. Oh, see, then it changes. And this is what it does. It opens up the PDF file in a viewer for you so you can see what's going on. Now let's say we need to sign it. So how are we going to sign this? Well, if you looked at the top left over here, you can see save PDF and then you can see zoom in, zoom out. But you also can see this little pencil. The pencil is what we want, add a signature. So we're going to click on that. And there's a couple different ways to do this. I'm going to remove that. Okay. Okay. So there's a couple ways to do this. So if you, you most likely will see this because I already had one in there. So it was going to show it. So this is what you're going to see. You're going to see a draw option, which we can draw our signature in here. You could upload one if you already have your signature saved as an image uh, on your computer. Or you can use your camera. The camera is kind of fun because all you do is assign. A, I'll show you that in a minute. Let's start with draw first. So we're going to draw. We're going to blah, 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 blah. my name is this guy. I have no idea who this guy is, but he's he's popular. So once you do that, if you like what you see, you just hit the check mark, and this is add signature. So if I did this, hit check mark, and now click on a signature to add. So you click right here, and it will actually let you drag and drop it into the right spot. So we can do that real quick. And so if you want to add it, you put it wherever you want on the document. And then you can actually grab the corners and adjust the size of it. Um, you can even, I think this thing helps you. See, yep, you can till, tip it and everything if you like. You just hold down the um, left mouse button when you're doing that on the corners. So you hold the left mouse button. There you go. And then you can put this anywhere on your document. So if you had to sign it right here or sign it up here in the corner and down below. So that's what we're looking at there. That's the way you do with draw. Now, I will show you how to save all this at the end, but I want to show you each each one of these. So let's say we want to add another signature. We're going to get rid of this again. And yes, we want to get rid of it. So you hit the X and then you, it'll ask you, do you really want to delete it? And I say, okay. So hit the plus sign again in the middle. That will give us the options again. And then if you look to the middle, there's an upload, which I don't have a signature on here. So there's so it will do this. Click on the following button to upload a signature as an image. So I don't have one on here, but if you did, you'd click on this and it, it upload it just like it did with the drawing. It will upload whatever image you want. So let's see if I can find something. I'll just throw something together. Let's just pick this Amazon. <laughs> we'll just select the file I want and we're going to click open. And now it's going to load it. Watch. Wow, that's fun. And you can actually, I don't know why they do this, but um, 
I'm trying to click on the following button to upload, which we did. And it, I, I guess it likes it. And then I guess that's, oh, that, <laughs> I see what it does. It lightens it up and darkens it. So this little line right here lightens and darkens the the signature or the background, I guess. So, oh, and it crops it a little bit. That's kind of interesting. So you mess around with this. I didn't realize this did this until we got on here. Um, so it must zoom in and out. So it sounds like it. So there we go. So once you have it set right, then you'd hit the check mark. Just like we did before. Then you click on it. And then I'm just going <laughs> to drop the, the Amazon signature right there. So you can shrink and enlarge it all you want. So once we do that, that's another way. And now the last, the last way to do this is, is always fun. This is kind of fun, guys. Okay, so we're going to hit the X. Not that. Wrong. <laughs> do not do what I just did. I'm going to do this. Okay, so you hit the plus again and it takes you back to this. So we can go to camera. <laughs> I like this. It's going to ask, it will, it will ask for access. Mine does. As you can see, I'm right there. Um, yeah, you actually can see me. That's not right. No. So what you want to do. Hi guys. Okay, so what we're gonna do is this. We're gonna uh, I'm gonna do this really fast. Um, we're gonna make Mickey Mouse or something. So what you do is get a piece of paper. Piece of paper. See this piece of paper? Usually you want it to be white. Um, so be ready for that. Um, I'm gonna sign Mickey Mouse. Mickey Mouse. Okay, I'm Mickey Mouse. There. I signed it. Now I'm gonna do this. And you're gonna put it in front of the camera. I'm going to try to go back far enough to make this work. i got to shrink down, guys. So you hold it up to your camera. Okay, hang on. Hang on. I got it. I got it. There we go. And then if you're happy with it, then you're going to hit the little A down here in the middle. It takes a picture. So I'm going to say, hey, that's my picture. And there you go. Look, it grabbed it. <laughs> it's my new signature. All right. So you can grab it like that. So we want to go, let's see. I did not mean to go that far. Sorry, guys. Oh, I gotta come back. There, it made the whole thing disappear. <laughs> so not show. Oh, yeah, we don't want to darken it that much. That kind of kills it. Okay, we're just gonna say that's great. We're gonna go yes. I hit the check mark. I'm gonna do this, and there it is. So as you can tell, I didn't mean to hit the black on there, but you're gonna have to deal with that. Um, but see, as it can do that, you can do it with a white piece of paper, and that'll make it easier. So Mickey Mouse now signed this document. So this black part. So make sure the uh, picture fills the whole camera view or it will put this black area in your way but there's another way to do the signature let's say you're happy with all your signatures you place it on your document by dragging it around and put it where you want and you're done and this is your other signature and our amazon signature but this is fun okay now you want to save it because if you don't save it it's not going to work <laughs> it's, it's not i've learned you got to save so you go up here to the top left and you click on save pdf and then when i hit save it's going to go all the way to the bottom and it's going to start saving it. So it's thinking about it. It's going, well, we're going to save this. Okay. So now it's going to save it. And then it should pop up here in a second and we'll be able to download it. So it'll give you an option to download. That's the only one I would say using. I haven't used these other ones before. They give you a lot of options, but I just like to have it downloaded. So, or you can preview it, which I don't need to right now. So I'm going to download it and then it's going to download to my computer down here and then I'm going to open it. So now it's going to open and there it is. So now you can see. There it is. You have my signatures and now you can save that to your computer. It's already saved to your computer because it's under download. So we'll go down here and we'll go to download folder. And there it is right there. So it's even on my computer. So it, oops, didn't mean to do that. I meant to grab this. So now it's on my computer. Now I can attach it to an email or I can send it to someone or I can print it off whichever way I want to. But that's how, <laughs> this is pretty cool, how you can sign a document and print it off also and save it um, online for free. And this is free. This doesn't cost anything. They don't ask anything. They do ask for donations, but they don't push it at you. So I would recommend trying this. It's really helpful. So get out there, sign those documents. You can even use your real signature. Like I said, you can actually sign a piece of paper and hold them from the camera. And that was shown as I showed you right there. So you can see Mickey Mouse. That's my signature or you can be Amazon, whatever, but that's how you do it. So that's how you add it to document. Now on the PDF thing, you can add a date if you need to. So if you want to add a date, just hit text and you can add a date somewhere. So we add text. So see, you can put text and you can say it was like 2021 or whatever you want to call it. So you go 2021. So you can put that anywhere too. So you can click outside and you can drag it anywhere you want. It's a great software and it's really easy to have sign your documents if you don't have the high-end softwares they have out there. So get out there, sign some documents, and that's it.
Thanks for watching, guys. Make sure to check out davescomputertips.com, uh, where all, all our articles are, and make sure to subscribe to this channel. And thanks for watching.